Hey guys, um, well, I had that dumb unboxing video before, remixed by George, um, but today I'm gonna have an, like, actual unboxing video. Got a box from Newegg, um, inside are supposed to be two 6850s, uh, the ones that just came out less than a week ago, um, by Sapphire. Uh, yeah, so those should be in here. Let's see if Newegg didn't screw up on packing it up. two boxes in here. Okay, so we have one 6850. I'm gonna open this box in a bit. And we have the second 6850. I'm gonna be running a crossfire configuration. Um, and I figure I'll be set as far as video cards go um, for a few years probably. Alright, so we have the 6850s, 1 gb RAM, DirectX 11, I mean if you want to know about the specs, uh, you can just look that up. Basically I want to show you what's in the box because each manufacturer um, packages uh, different things, packages them in different ways, and you know. Alright, so first, once we take it out of the box, nothing else in here, you just have a nice stable cardboard box you know to help uh, with packaging and everything so it won't get damaged right here as soon as I open I get this large piece of foam I mean nothing's gonna happen to whatever's inside that's always nice to see another huge piece of foam keeping every uh, keeping everything from hitting the corners of the box all right so here we have the driver insulation CD uh, you also get a little sticker a uh, sapphire that you can put on your computer or if you want on your desk, anything else, you can put it on your Xbox if that's what you're into. Um, quick start guide. Um, I might have to look in how to do it uh, crossfire. Not really sure exactly what plugs to use. First time I'm running dual video cards. Uh, sapphire Select Club already in this, so. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. They give you uh, access to promotions, free stuff. Uh, sometimes like uh, software, video games, um, uh, just different types of free giveaways. Here we have a power adapter, uh, Molex to VGA power. Um, first of all, uh, I've heard a lot of bad things about this. Um, I mean, if if you can't uh, use anything else, then obviously you're gonna have to use this. But avoid it if you can because it's just not as stable of a power source as the VGA power cord on your power supply. Uh, here is the Crossfire Bridge. Um, yep, pretty self-explanatory. And a DVI to VGA adapter. So that's all that's in the box. Um, pretty much standard. Um, Though the Sapphire Select Club is nice, I know other um, manufacturers have similar things, but really Sapphire keeps up to date on it. You actually get new promotions, you get new uh, giveaway contests, and I mean, yeah, I, I, I would recommend Sapphire, plus they have really good customer service. It's just really nice to have. So, obviously the second box is going to be the same thing. Here, I'll just open up the video card for you, finally. You get this nice little sign that tells you that you must connect your graphics card to power for it to be powered. Not sure why that isn't self-explanatory. Okay, so here we have the video card. Now, Sapphire is really good at um, making custom heat sinks for their video cards. They always work better than the reference designs. Um, I've had a few... No. I've had two Sapphire video cards, and... I have to say, I'm really happy with the cooling solutions. They're usually the first ones to come out with custom cooling solutions, and it gives you like 20 degrees Celsius of headroom, which is really good, especially on, for example, the 4800 series from uh, AMD ATI Radeon. Um, those actually went up to like 115 degrees Celsius, so it was really nice to see Sapphire taking initiative and uh, giving you 
a really nice heat sink. So uh, first thing you'll notice is that this isn't an ATI Radeon card anymore. Um, it's been rebranded re to AMD. Um, AMD has owned ATI for a while now. Um, so I guess they're just now introducing this change now that people are more familiar with the AMD brand. Here you can see on the video card, um, it should focus, there we go. Uh, Radeon graphics by AMD, no longer ATI. You won't find ATI anywhere on the box. Um, and it looks really solid. The heat sinks are fairly large. Um, also, uh, iFinity, very important. You can run like three, three displays on one video card. Uh, you get, all right, you get two D, two DVI ports right here. Then you get an HDMI port and a Display port. Now the Display port is sort of proprietary. Um, well, not proprietary in that AMD invented it, but it's very uncommon. Um, and you have to use two D two DVI and a Display port or one DVI, one HDMI, and a display port. You can't use two, D, uh, two DVI and HDMI. I'm not sure why. Um, and there are also a very limited amount of monitors that have um, display ports on them. I know H, uh, HP and Dell have a few, and some of the higher end Samsungs definitely have display ports. I think they're touch of color uh, TV ones because TVs just have a load of inputs, so. Um, but definitely HP and Dell. Uh, it, it lets you run three uh, monitors at the same time, you know, getting extra resolution, something at like 7,200, I don't even know the number. Um, it's really high. And But personally, I wouldn't recommend running three monitors on one of the 6850s. It just doesn't have enough horsepower to power it at that resolution. Um, crossfire configuration, maybe. Uh, but you, you really want to look into the really high-end cards for that. And the 6850 is not a replacement for the 5850. Um, they want to change their naming schemes because the 5970 and the 5870, along with the 5850, technically were the same GPU, everything, same thing, just two of them. So what uh, AMD's argument is why should we have a different number, for example, 5900 and 5800 for what's essentially the same core. So people are assuming that high end is going to be only 59, 5930, 5950, 5970, 5990, well, 6990 and 6950 and everything like that. Um, you know, just to let the customer know, I'm assuming that. You know, I don't even know. I'm not going to try to defend. Uh, honestly, the 4870 times 2 made the most sense to me. Um, it's a 4870 times 2. How is that not hard to get? Then they introduced 5970. Um, I was okay with that. Now they're saying the 6850 is a replacement for the 5750. And it's just, like, pretty confusing. Eventually, it'll make sense, though, once we get used to it. So, I mean, that's pretty much all I have to say right now. Um... I'll post some results. This was just an unboxing. Uh, stay tuned for like, not really a review because I I only have a Core 2 Duo. It's overclocked to 3.84, but it's gonna be a bottleneck in this situation. So I don't wanna post out scores and claim that the ATI uh, AMD Radeon um, 6850 gets X amount of frames because obviously I'm gonna have a few bottlenecks in my system, but I'll be comparing it to my GTS 250. Obviously that's an unfair comparison, but I mean, if you're interested, if you want to know how these perform on a dual-core si uh, system, by all means, go ahead.